what's up youtube this video is brought to you by webull if you'd like to help out the channel and get two free stocks make sure you check out my link below hey i'm chris saying if you're new here i make videos on personal finance how to invest and build wealth through the stock market i started this robin hood channel for two reasons number one to simplify investing for those that wanted to invest but didn't quite know how and number two I wanted to show you guys in real time the companies I invest in to grow my portfolio from $0 to 10K and then eventually from 10K to 100K. So feel free to join me on the journey by grabbing some free stock using my link below or sit back and watch. Either way, I appreciate you. Today's video is about me giving you guys an update on Genius. Again, we've been talking about this stock for a few days now. And as we approach the 15th, I want to give you guys some insight and a little bit of information on things you should be doing in preparation for Monday. Without further ado, let's hop into my portfolio and take a look at how we doing today. Okay, as you can see, my portfolio is currently sitting at $29,000. $667.39 on the day we're up almost 2% if I take you guys a week out we are down 6% if we go one month out we are up almost nine and a half percent and if I take you guys three months out we are up around 17% and so listen guys today I want to talk to you and give you a quick update on genius as you guys head into the weekend. For some of you new investors, yesterday was the first time that you might have experienced a significant drop, like 1800 points in the market. And so this is a good learning time and learning lesson as new investors. And it's a good time to start developing some girth, developing some patience, developing some tolerance for the volatility that the market uh, can produce some days and so again investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme it doesn't mean the stock market is going to go up every single day you will have days you will have several days where it's going to be down like i said in other videos that is not the time to panic that is the time to stand firm on what you believe in about the companies that you invest in we have situations like we have here with genius where we're anticipating a quick flip on june 15th and as a short-term play your you guys anxiety could be raised through the roof however as long-term investors we have a much different outlook on the whole genius play because whether we get in at this price right now or whether we get in lower or higher because our outlook is a lot longer we have a chance for a higher upside and so again man if you guys are going to operate as traders and get in and get out of these stocks hurts and genius and things of that nature it's important to like i said always have an exit strategy you need to have an exit plan because i don't know when you guys bought the stock and i'm not here to speak on what price you got it at however depending on the price that you did get the stock at your plan may have to be different than the next person's okay and so therefore you have to be looking at this whole genius play as man you know what when it hits this price point from where i bought it from i have to make a move if we take a look at genius stock it's currently sitting around three dollars and 99 cent close to four dollars okay and so again some of you have it below this some of you have it above this you got monday on the horizon and there may be a chance that you get a spike one way or another regardless of what happens monday or after their announcement about their cartoon channel you have to be making a decision if this is a short-term play for you what are you going to do with this position all right now if you're a long-term investor you like this 399 four dollar price range because you're saying you know what i can ride this out i got this low 100 plus shares at four dollars or below four dollars and i know with all the research that's out there that this stock is going to hit over twenty dollars to come 2021 hey that's a good position to be in so again man it all depends on what type of investor you are what type of investor you're trying to be or whether or not you're just trying to be a day trader and a swing trader of these kind of speculative plays listen man i hope that was helpful now it's time for our question of the day question of the day comes from natasha sullivan and she asks so chris i'm a new subscriber here are you saying that genius is only a short-term stock what do you think will happen if i keep it for a year thanks for your video and feedback stay safe natasha thank you for the question and again i'm a long-term dividend investor so for me personally 
I would be looking at Genius as a long-term play. However, I know that many of you that come here and come to this channel are in it for the short term, and so I respect that. And as a short-term play, I just wanna give you uh, examples and give you the information on how you can potentially play this stock depending on where you got in at. And so I don't view it as a short-term play. For me, it would be long-term, but however, the information I'm trying to provide is to help anybody that may be in it for a short term play. Again, you have a few dates, a key dates that's coming up, June 15th being one, and then the genius earning reports being another. And so if you don't hit big come Monday, uh, you can still hold on to it and you got another shot at it comes the earning report season. And again, you need to have a plan in place for what you plan on doing by the end. Listen, man, I make videos like this every week. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you grab some free stock using my link below and I'll see you guys in the next one.